Good day, Domic Nation. Just for you, crew. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Let me just finish eating. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, kissy kissy. Disturbing, I know. He likes to smell your breath and your nose. That's just his thing. And there's Sunny. How are you, Sunny? You made a mess. Bye, Carol. Bye, Ben. Bye, Leah. They're all going up to Barry. Uh, ben has, um, he's been borrowing my first ever laptop bag because there's a whole story behind it. I don't want to forget it. Well, let's do it. So he had a laptop bag backpack thing that I'm the one, I use it all the time. He sold it to me so he could buy a different backpack. Ben has a backpack thing. You know how women love shoes? Ben loves backpacks. You'll buy a backpack, use it for a little bit, get really bored of it very quickly, then sell it to me usually, and then uh, for a discounted price because it's been used. And then he goes and buys a new one. So uh, when I first got my, my laptop, I bought a laptop bag. I used it for most of that time until Ben gave me this or sold me the backpack one that just got ripped. The zipper broke on it. Uh, when I was in the airport and so he's taking that back to Mac to see if he can get a replacement for it and if he can't then he's, we're going to bring it back and and uh, Megan said she's going to try and fix it for me. Ben also is right now using my very first laptop bag kind of like a suitcase thing and uh, but he doesn't want to use that for school so he's now going up to Mac to buy a different one so that he can have a backpack for his, with his books and his laptop and the whole bit so right now I'm back top Backpackless. Yes, backpackless. Got up this morning, uh, watched a bunch of Philip DeFranco videos, plus a boogie, uh, 2988, uh, all about this whole YouTube thing with the language and, and all that stuff. And it's kind of funny because right from the beginning, as a father, 10 years ago, both of my kids were really young. So I tried to keep my, my videos nice and clean and appropriate. And it seems to have come around. And uh, so what's going on, on YouTube is not going to affect me at all, which is great. Um, fortunately, it will affect a lot of other people and, and watching Philip and Boogie uh, watching their videos. I'm hoping that you know, this all gets resolved and I understand that YouTube has the power to do whatever they want because it's their website, you know, and they, if they don't want excessive swearing or harassment or uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, which is some of these guys like Philip, uh, they talk about news stories. And so just because they're talking about a news story about a rape victim or whatever, that will be demonetized because the word rape is in it or whatever. So it's uh, quite crazy and hectic times for a lot of YouTubers right now. There was even like a hashtag death, the end of YouTube or the death of YouTube or something like that. Again, it's not gonna be affecting any of my channels. And if it does, it'll affect, I don't know, four videos that I said the F word in and those videos don't make, get a lot of views anyway. So, so you know, I'm gonna be missing out on a dollar a month kind of thing. So no big deal. We're moving forward. Uh, I'm getting my bike stuff already. Got my shoes out. <clears throat> these are uh, mountain biking shoes and they've got the clip on the bottom. And uh, I like these because uh, over um, road bike shoes. So anybody who does road biking or, or mountain biking, these are great because when I get off my road bike, I can then walk around normally. When you get those really nice road bike shoes you can't just walk around so these ones are almost kind of like shoes uh, compared to special biking shoes so i got my shoes ready i got my two bottles of water i'm gonna get all my gear together i'll show you my gear in just a second got all my stuff set up for you guys to look at uh, i finally shut my computer off you have no idea how difficult it is for somebody like me who's like always trying to look at his channels and, and check out the comments and make sure everything's running right and do all my social medias. And it's just like a non-stop thing in my life. And it's so nice when I do that. It's off. All right, so except the fact that I'm working with you right now. So what we have here, we've got our special shorts. And again, I like the 
bit. This is called the bib, so it goes up and over your shoulders. I got my phone with a protective case to stop moisture from getting to it. Got my gloves just padding in that to stop the vibration from wrecking your hands, uh, from hurting your wrists. Then you also have this little wipe on there so you can wipe your nose if you need to. Got the great helmet, two bottles of water. Again, the shorts have padding in it because if you don't, if you ride the type of bike that I have, Without those kinds of shorts, it'll hurt your butt. Then we also have the shirt. These shirts have three pockets on the back, so you can stick things in, like your phone, a banana, some other food, whatever, a map if you had one. Uh, sometimes if I'm going on really long distance rides, uh, I will put in my health card and my license so that if I did fall or if I did get into an accident uh, and I was unable to speak, people could grab that in my pocket, know who I am and contact the right people, hopefully the ambulance first. Uh, then we have our heart rate monitor and that just goes right here it goes around your body keeps track of your heart rate so it knows how many calories you're burning there's my computer this is the garmin 510 and then you got good socks let your feet breathe and again there's your shoes and because i'm going out at one o'clock i'm gonna put on some sunscreen and uh, my bike is all ready i went and filled up the air and the tires at 100 psi these tires can go up to 120 but I don't want them that high. So there's my bike. It is a specialized LS. And there's a seat. That's why you need the special shorts. It makes it for an easier ride. And that's my second computer. That one shows me at a glance what uh, gear I'm in. I usually know what gear I'm in, but that's good too. So let's get dressed and we'll go for a ride. All set up, ready to go. It is now. 26 degrees, which is what 80 degrees. Somebody just texted me. I'll check that before I leave. But the bike's all set up, ready to go. Computer's ready to go. Bike ride. Bike ride. Come on, do it. There we go. All right, I gotta check my my text. It was Carol, and uh, they're at Mountain Equipment Co-op, and they're going to repair my bag and have it back to me hopefully by Wednesday. Very cool, Mountain Equipment Co-op. Standing by your product, nice. Okay, time to ride. I'm about uh, four kilometers in, maybe three, and my hands are already <laughs> falling asleep. I'm so not used to riding. So every once in a while, you gotta get up, sit up, give both arms a rest, make a video, get run over by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, swallow the bug. This is uh, just brand new paved, resurfaced. Really nice to ride on. Well, let's keep going. Made it back in one piece. Sonny's out checking things out, which is uh, making Ninja all mad. Yeah, I'll let him out in a minute. I just can't uh, deal with the cats and talk to you guys at the same time. So uh, I put a, a picture out on Instagram guessing, or asking you guys to guess how many kilometers I could do today in this hot, hot weather in one hour. So it turns out, I can't, oh my eyes. The salt from my sweat is just pouring into my eye sockets. One hour I did 26 kilometers, so I averaged 26 kilometers an hour, which is way better than I thought I was gonna do. I thought it'd be like 22. So, uh, and then it tells you, I think if I move over to the next page, how many calories it burned. So 783 calories. Can't show you that one because there's a map on it. That's not a good idea. So there, I hope that uh, uh, motivates you guys to get your butt on a bike or go for a walk, a jog, hike, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do a couple more between now and Thursday before we go rock climbing. And uh, yeah, so thanks for playing along on the Instagram. I'll finish playing with the cats I had. Leah and Ben help wrangle them back into the house. Uh, Ninja was acting very strange. Like he, when he went up to the tree, he was just like rubbing his neck into the tree. So there must've been some type of a smell on that. And then he went over to that small little bush in front of our deck and was like 
rolling all in the dirt. Yeah, in the dirt. So does Louis. Louis rolls on the pavement because there's so much like dust and stuff. They like that in their skin or whatever on their skin. So what are you guys up to tonight? Uh, sleeping over at Connor's. Yes. Um, yeah, just sleeping over. That'd be weird. Um, you're not really doing We're gonna go night, we're gonna go night swimming. We're getting ready for school. I just bought a new backpack from Mech. Show them the backpack because we were talking about that earlier. It's kind of square. It, it, it's a backpack, but it's also a shoulder bag and it's also a handbag. Nice. It's the same as the black one except bigger and better. <laughs> the black one. Have you like ex done a video on your gear yet? No, I, I was going to do like a what's in my camera bag video. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Off to, what's it called? Bradford. Dropped Leah and Ben off, and now I'm headed home. But first, we gotta get some gas, cause I am almost out. Let's go home.